Uh, this hand's a keeper. Start with a stomping ground. We can pillar his turn one play if he has one. <clears throat> or just play a scavenging ooze. He does not have a play. Good news. Ooh, we get to lead off with the far seek. So we get to play Huntmaster regardless of what he does. Um, we have all our red. I think I'm going to get a breeding pool. No, I'd rather have more red. I'll get a... Whoops, I'll get a stomping ground. <clears throat> Might be tempting to go for the trifecta of uh, breeding pool with a uh, red, green, green, blue, and blue, green land all in play, but this is a little more ideal for our post sideboard configuration. Okay, so we're just gonna drop a hunt master. Unless he kills it, we're gonna be able to flip it next turn and start killing things, <clears throat> which is where our cards like syncopate shine when we can uh, leave up counter magic and flip our hunt master. It's one of the reasons why Huntmaster is particularly good with blue. Um, hasn't seen a lot of play in Rug, other than the Rug Pod deck that I mentioned I played earlier, but <clears throat> seems pretty strong in theory. He's thinking. He's going to have to play a Silver Blade to force this guy through my Wolf, or I guess Banisher Priest, my Huntmaster, but then I'll just trade with his Knight and Pillar his other guy. And then scavenging ooze can clean up. Unless he wants to start blowing Brave the Elements. <clears throat> There's one thing to consider. If I just play a land and pass to flip my Huntmaster, he could Brave the Elements. Which isn't a blowout. Uh, rest in Peace resolves. Okay, so if that's all he has. Um, cool. He could brave the elements here. Hmm, don't have any way to deal with rest in peace, so this is basically just a vanilla 2-2. Two -two. I mean, it's not terrible, but does shut down a lot of my offense. I'm going to get in with the wolf and then attempt to flip my hunt master. He's blocking. Is he going to brave the elements? There's pro black. Okay. Okay, he's going to brave the elements. That's good news. Okay, so our guy dies. Now I'll play Vanilla 2-2. Two -two. And I think I'll save my pillar. Uh, no, I'll use it now because I want to start flipping my Hunt Master. <clears throat> if you play something with like three toughness then that's uh, kind of annoying, but even like Fiend Slayer Paladin. I guess F uh, Banisher Priest would be pretty annoying. It would take out my Hunt Master. <clears throat> We're kind of flooding this game, um, but if we draw Thrag Tusk or something, it's okay. I don't think I've seen Thrag Tusk in either of our first two games. <clears throat> Granted, one of our games was a Mold of Five, which is still a pretty interactive game, but Brave the Elements is a real card. Here comes Sublime Archangel. Oh, there's Burning Earth. Okay. Um, that's actually fine, because we're ahead on board. We're going to flip our Huntmaster this turn. There's a Ratchet Bomb, which is not a bad draw. I'm going to take two to play it, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to play it rather than flip my Huntmaster, I think. Let's get in for two. So pay two life, and play a Ratchet Bomb. This also turns off Rest in Peace if we want it to. Yeah, uh, I don't think it was correct for him to go for this more control -y sideboard. Um, because then it lets me put pressure on without having to worry about dying. 
and I can like flip my hunt masters. I keep saying that, but I have yet to flip my hunt master. Hopefully soon, considering I have no play in the near future unless I have a Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk is kind of nice against Burning Earth because I get to play it for free. All right, Fiend Hunter is a pretty good draw. Might have to ratchet bomb that. Put counter on at end of turn. Bonfire wouldn't be bad either. Alright, Mizium Order. So, hmm. Do I want to take that out now? That's a good question. Yeah, I think so. Because we have the, uh, the Ratchet Bomb threatening it later on. So we'll take two. Certainly don't want to overload Mizium Orders with a Burning Earth in play. And we get to gain the life right back when Huntmaster comes back into play. He did not have the Brave the Elements. Good news. Get another wolf. Swing for two. And pass. Is he flooding, maybe? Maybe he just has a bunch of three drops. It seems kind of likely. There's a lot of good three drops. All right, Banisher Priest resolves. Huntmaster's gone. <clears throat> Put another counter on the bomb. So he has a two, three, and four drop that we all that we want to get rid of. If we keep drawing removal like we have been, <clears throat> all right, land. Kizzig Wolfrun would not have been a bad one. Um, he can give his guy plus two plus oh in haste. Hmm. What do I want to do? I could wait a turn and ratchet bomb his priest. Not sure what he's holding. Probably just a land. I think I would rather... I, I do want to ratchet bomb his burning earth at some point. I can offer the trade with scavenging ooze, get my hunt master back. That's probably an upgrade. So let's get in. Okay, he just takes it. That's good news. So now I just pass. Hopefully he plays another 3-drop. Or maybe he just has only land. I don't think he's going to be able to race me, despite this Burning Earth. And that's what I'm saying. Like Burning Earth is a good card, but he has to take out some action in order to play it. So I'm not under as much pressure as I was before. So see, I'm still at 20 life, even though I've cast several spells. Uh, okay, we're taking four. Oops, 16. Let's add a counter. Maybe I should have played my land so I could bonfire. Because bonfire is actually lethal now, despite that burning earth being out. Hmm, what do I want to do? I can just play this Thrag Tusk for free. I think I just blow this Ratchet Bomb now. Burning Earth is irrelevant at this point. Let's blow his Banisher Priest. Get my Hunt Master back. Get another Wolf. Tack him down to six. Uh, take five. Gain five. Yeah. Hunt Master and Thrag Tusk are pretty good against Burning Earth. All right, GG's, he says. So we fought through a Burning Earth and uh, multiple Banisher Priest effects, and uh, our deck's looking to be in good shape.